The CR48 is the first computer built specifically for Chrome OS and as such is a great first look at what you can expect to see when the first Chrome OS notebook starts shipping later this year. The first thing you'll notice about the CR48 is the very basic yet solid design. There isn't a single bit of branding on the entire laptop which is a refreshing change compared to the majority of netbooks and laptops you'll find today. The overall package is just under an inch thin and the entire body is coated in a soft touch plastic which while feels great in use is nearly impossible to keep clean. It is a bit on the heavy side though but it's certainly well within reason. It is lacking in ports compared to a Windows laptop with only VGA out, a power connector, a single USB 2.0 port which is only useful for a mouse right now, a headphone jack and an SD card slot. The CR48 sports a matte 12.1 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 which has solid viewing angles and the matte coating keeps the screen nicely legible even in sunlight. Above the screen you'll find a webcam and microphone. The webcam is only of okay quality but the microphone is surprisingly solid. The keyboard is where you'll find the biggest change from a standard netbook or laptop. The layout has been changed with the removal of the function and windows key. Instead you'll find an extended control and alt key. To my great satisfaction the caps lock key has been removed with a search key that opens a new tab. Along the top row you'll find that the function keys have been replaced with a row of helpful browser buttons including back, forward, refresh, full screen, as well as control for brightness, volume and a power button. The keys are very nicely spaced out in the increasingly popular chiclet style and after using it for two weeks I've got to say it is one of the better laptop keyboards I've ever used. The trackpad however leaves a lot to be desired. It's a nice size but lacks any physical buttons which makes it difficult to use oftentimes, making you rely on a two fingered tap for right clicking which more often than not does not register. Personally I just used a mouse as often as I could. With the CR48 you'll also find some very nice battery life of around 7 hours in my testing along with of course Wi-Fi and support for 3G which helps make sure you'll always be able to connect to the internet. Now let's move on to the most important part of the review, Chrome OS. Put simply, Chrome OS is a stripped down Linux distribution that boots straight into the Chrome browser. You can't download applications or anything else of the sort. Everything you do is inside the browser. This is a major issue for a lot of people. However, the most important thing to realize is that this is not a replacement for a laptop or desktop. Rather, it's competing to be your secondary browsing machine alongside a netbook or perhaps a tablet. However, I've got to say I was a bit surprised at how this wasn't a big issue as I thought it would be. In the Chrome Web Store, there are a lot of web apps such as GrooveShark and TweakDeck that do a solid job of taking the places of standalone applications. On that front, I've got to say there are some definite advantages to Chrome OS. The first of which is the quick boot up and loading times. Because all you need to do is load the Chrome browser, the computer boots in around 10 seconds. Even better is the time to wake up from sleep mode, which is nearly instant. Close the lid and the computer immediately goes to sleep. Open it up and by the time you finish raising the screen, you're back in business. When you get into the browsing itself, it's good overall. While browsing the web in a tablet is certainly usable, having a trackpad or mouse along with a keyboard is still what the web is designed for and the CR48 handles it no problem. The biggest thing that holds it back is a single core Intel Atom N455 processor which can be in to chug a bit when doing anything more than loading a single web page. However, accompanied by 2GB of RAM and a 16GB solid state drive, it certainly gets the job done. The biggest issue is with Flash, which crashes fairly often and it has a lot of trouble with 480p video. This isn't a big deal, however, as Flash should be updated by the time Chrome OS is released. Overall, I've come away impressed with the CR48 and Chrome OS in general. While I doubt the future of two OS's at Google that are as similar as Chrome OS and Android, I certainly do see where Chrome OS could do quite well. As it's based on Linux and has some outstanding security, it should be great for keeping virus free. And due to the quick boot up and loading times, it's great for pulling out and spending 30 seconds or 3 hours surfing the internet. If they can keep the price in the $200 to $400 range and undercut the majority of tablets, I think that Chrome OS could work out quite well for a lot of people. Just not everyone.